Welcome back to the community, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. And also, if you get a chance, check out the website. Lots to see and do there. And thank you to all my subscribers. I do appreciate you. Today, we're going to be doing sound deadening. Now, we're going to be doing it on the floor pans today, okay? And then after that, I'll be doing the insides of the doors, the insides of the quarter panels, where you remove your rear door card, so to speak, then the luggage area. And when I go to do that, I'll just label it like sound deadening part two, and then I'll do a video on that. Uh, we did use bare metal primer on the floor pans on the inside. I used Rust-Oleum Professional on the floor pans on the inside to paint them black. I don't know why, because nobody sees it. And then we're going to put the sound deadener down now. Uh, on the underneath of the car and the inner wells, we're going to be using Rust Bullet, as I brought up a couple of times. It's a really excellent product, uh, and I have proof of it from people that have used it in the past. Uh, over the next couple of weeks after today, we're going to start patching some of them holes in the back inner wells, and then we're going to get ready to, I guess, do the rear quarter sections. I'm not looking forward to that. And, of course, the underneath of the car, clean it up and rust bullet it. So let's get started today. Sorry about the long intro, just giving you an update on everything. So let's get rolling. Now, here's what I'm using is the Quick Roof Pro Aluminum. Actually, I used it on the last car. I had some left, so I figured no point in wasting it. Okay, so I have two rolls. I know on the last one I did the Super Beetle, I did the luggage compartment, the doors inside, and the rear door cards inside the quarters and the floors. Now I did uh, two coats on the floor, two coats on the luggage compartment, and one coat on the inside of the doors. And I did go through five rolls completely. But the new owner is extremely pleased because he said it's as quiet as his new car going down the road. So I do double layer. That's what I do, but you do what you like to do and uh, go from there. But I think it's about 20 bucks a roll. I can't remember now, but so is sound deadener. It's not cheap. It, this stuff's pretty easy to work with. Just make sure you have a hair dryer on hand and I'll show you why shortly. So everything you need, of course, your quick roof. I just have two rolls and maybe a quarter of a roll. Uh, start out with at least two rolls though. You're gonna need that. And you will need a roller. I got this from Amazon. It's at, this thing is like heavy, heavy duty. But I got this from Amazon. It doesn't flex. It's nice and solid and strong, so that's what you need. A roller, marker, straight edge, and an old crappy hair dryer. I've had that thing forever. I think I stole it from my wife. Uh, that should be all you need, so let's take a look inside. As you see, our floors are painted nice and pretty. We got that done. Here's some uh, photos of the beginning through the process of what they look like. Of course now, so let me get the camera set up. I'm going to start over on that side of the front and show you how it's done. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the inside because there's no cut there. And I'm just going to measure the length of it and then we'll go over to the bench and make our first cut. So, take it from the floor pan right up to that seat rail, okay? And we are trying to make it somewhat tight, 27 and 3 quarter. So, let's make our first cut. I got my hair dryer ready and handy, and my roller's ready. So, let's go ahead and make our first cut. And I talked, and I forgot. 27 and 3 quarter. So let's get that cut first. This will be a nice straight cut, so not a big deal. Oops. And do our 27 3 quarter. Whoop. Marcus. I get it pretty close. I'm not worried about perfectly even. Look at that. Okay, let's go back in the car with our roller and our hair dryer. So, I'm going to test fit first, of course, 
before you go sticking it down and acting crazy. Okay, a little up and a lip there, not a big deal. Okay, now, it is a little bit chilly out today, but not real bad, so I'm going to warm it up lightly and then set it down. But don't go crazy because you'll make it all sticky, you know the deal. Okay, it's lightly warmed up. Let's peel the back off. I'm going to start up here and lay it down. Okay, here's where the action comes in. All right, it's warmed up a little bit. I'm going to take this roller. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here and getting it in the ribs. Not those ribs. See how it's molding to the floor pan, to the shape of it, okay? Give me a second here. I like this roller because it's nice and strong. It doesn't flex or give. Actually, I'll, if I can find it, I'll put it in the description down below. If you just want to get one, same one I have. Okay, now see how it's with the contour of everything, the ribs and the floor. Okay, so that is sweet. Now let's do this section where it's got a little angle cut, and I'll show you how I do it. Now what we're going to do is take the flat side before the angle. Yeah, we're gloves, by the way. Okay, and we are at 27 and 3 quarter again, okay. So let's cut that first, then I'm going to show you that for a reason. Give me one second and I'll make the cut. Okay, we made our cut. Now, you want it right next to the other one, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to put it, try again, put it up against the other one. There we go. And we're going to crease it because this is an aluminum coating on the back. So take your Sharpie and make a line there and this ought to come out perfect. Let me make the cut on that. Give me one second. Let's check our cut. Pretty nice. Okay, let's warm it lightly. Second. It's just warmed up a little. If it's summertime and you're doing this, this is probably going to be warmed up already. So you only warm it up after you stick it down. Hope that made sense. Make sure you get all the creases. Oh yeah, that's good enough. Let's warm it a little bit more. Usually fill it and you'll be able to tell. Okay, let's use our roller. I mean, this stuff works really nice. Very, very happy with it. And I used it on my last project, my 73 Super, like you see here. That's what I did it in, and then I put a TMI carpet kit in. I did a video on that. And it was really soundproof. It was excellent, especially when you do it on the insides of the doors, the inner wells, luggage rack. Luggage compartment, I meant to say. There we go. Look at that. Okay. Let's do our last piece here. We'll take a measurement here from the longest side down and then do our angle. So the longest will be 22. Let me cut a 22 piece real quick here. Alrighty, so there's our long cut up to this. I thought that was loose, it's not. Up to this point. 
so this is in a way. Still in a way. Okay, this will make it easier. Just make sure you have it butt up against the other one. Butt. Just make your creases like that. Okay, and take your happy little marker. Nice and easy. Let me make this cut. Let's check it. And remember, if you're off a little bit, it's not the end of the world. If you're just trying to cover for the vibration. I don't know. Hear the difference. Listen to this. Hear the thud. Okay. Thud, thud. And I'm not funny today. Alrighty. And while I'm laying this, or whatever you call it, uh, please stay clear to the end of this video. I want to do bring something up and see if it's worth me doing a film. I'm letting you ins decide. There we go. Whoop. Ooh, that was close. There we go. Like I said, now I have a little gap here I can fix. It's not a big deal. It's already warmed up still. I can feel it. run my fingers in the ribs. <coughs> yeah, the ribs again. Okay, I do have a little miscue here. So I'll put a little piece in there. It's not a big deal. But I am going to do two layers on the floors. I always do. You do what you want. I notice the difference from doing two layers. So there's the front floor pan. I'm not going to bore you with doing all of it. You know what I mean? But I'll go ahead and do the other side, but I'm going to speed the film up while I'm doing it. Okay? Hang tight. Okay, so same thing over here. Now, what I am going to be careful of here, and I highly advise you to do the same, you have your pedal stop here. Here's a photo of it. Okay, and I'm going to bring it from the pedal stop back. I'm not going to cover the pedal stop up in case I have to unbolt that or anything. So we're going to go ahead and leave the pedal stop exposed. So that would be 25 inch. Give me a second. I am actually glad I did film this side though, because you got to watch, you got a brake line that's going to be going along here. So you don't want to cover your clips up. Okay. So don't cover the pedal stop, don't cover the clips, don't bow it up the tunnel. Not that type of bow. This is all warmed up, so I'm not gonna heat it until I get it in place. Okay. Okay, let me do another measurement. That one is going to be 27 and a half because we're going to run that one all the way up and then we got to do an angle cut. Okay, so we're going to set this in place just like that. There we go. And you're going to crease it with your fingers. Let's move this back over here. I mean, it don't have to be where you don't see any of the floor at all. But every little bit helps is the way I look at it. Okay. Zoop. Let's go make that cut. Before you peel the back, check it just in case something silly happened along the way. I've had that happen before. Okay. Okay. 
Now in the summer when it's really hot out, as soon as this stuff hits, it sticks. So be aware of that. Okay. So wait, I say okay a lot, don't I? It's okay, right? Okay. <laughs> I said it again. And go to your longest point, which would be there. And that would be 21 and three quarter. One second. Put this in place. This one's tricky. A little tricky. Don't worry, I'm not going to start singing. Okay. Leave that over. This one might have a little void in it, which is not a big deal. There we go. Now, mark my line. Although you can see the crease. Make a quick cut, and we're going to go over a couple things real quick. Righty, righty. Come on. It's hard when you get in a angled area. day so everybody's trying to get out for a ride okay a little heat give me a second okay. press my fingers down into the grooves fill in that groove there we go big difference I probably bounced you guys everywhere sorry all right, let me wipe my hands off. We're going to go over a couple of things, and that'll be that. So there it is. Now, of course, I have to do the back floor pans, and you want to bring that all the way up to here under your seat. Do the whole area, okay, and make sure because you don't want no vibration. I'm not going to sit there and do the back on camera because I know you're going to fast forward through it and get bored, and that's what I try to keep from happening when possible. So do the backs all the way up under the seat to the front of the track. Cover all that area, okay? Now let me show you something here. As you can see here, there's a little strip from me miscutting. Now it isn't a big deal, and here's why. You go ahead and take the, your scraps, like you end up with all over your workbench, little pieces everywhere, and that's where they will come in handy. So take your scrap pieces and fix any little bare areas that you make. I'm going to go ahead and double layer. So I'll be putting another layer right over top of that. It's the same as putting your first layer down, but a lot more protection from sound and vibration. It is definitely worth doing. And like I said, do your floor pans clear up to here. Okay, so do all that shallow part down there. The same way and double coat it. Next, on part two, which is not going to be right away, we'll be pulling the door cards off the back, doing a couple strips inside of there, the wheel well, very important, and then the luggage compartment, okay? And it makes a huge difference, trust me. That is sound deadening part one. Uh, that is just the floor pans. I like to double layer because I'm telling you, it just helps a lot. It really, really does. If you followed along on my first project on here, if not, go back and binge watch for a week or so. I think there's, I don't know, 90 videos up. I, I really don't even know, 60. But go ahead and follow that project if you want to. And the Super Beetle I did, that thing was so quiet going down the road, it was scary. It was just as nice as my new vehicle. So it is worth doing the sound deadening. You can buy one of the major brands of sound deadener if you'd like to. It might cost you more. 
but do what you think is right. I use the quick roof, so does Chris Vallone, and he restores major beetles from the 50s, you know what I mean? So, and that's what he's using, and he's never had a complaint or an issue. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a tutorial. Tell me if you just wanna see this or not. You have foam in the back, like you see here, And a lot of beetles get rust right behind the quarter window. That's bad. When that happens, you got to start cutting body sections out and find a donor car and blah, blah. You know the deal. If you guys want to see that, what to do with that area, just leave it in the comments and I will do it because I'm going to do that soon. To show you how to eliminate the foam out of there, which holds moisture, and what to replace it with. Heather's going to have to step in on that one, though, because uh, I need her to make up what gets stuffed inside of there. I'll show you when we're doing a video. If you just want to see it, fine. If not, don't leave a comment on it and life goes on. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Thanks for the purchase of the stickers, the t-shirts, everything. I've gotten donations. People have went to the website, clicked the donations tab. I truly appreciate it. It helps keep this channel going, truthfully. That's what enabled me to get a new camera, new microphone set up. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I hope everyone has a very safe Thanksgiving in case you see this a little late coming up near the holiday. Be safe, healthy, and happy, and be nice to each other, please. It's a rough world right now, folks. Let's stick together and smile. See you soon.